you for joining us. You're watching the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain Television. I'm Olivia da Costa. The Gulf Cooperation Council, or the GCC, is celebrating its 32nd anniversary today, which has become a good model for the effect of regional and international blocs. We have more details on the Council's achievements in this report. The Gulf Cooperation Council, the GCC, is celebrating its 32nd anniversary today. It is the age of maturity for what is regarded a good model of effective regional and international blocs. The idea of closer togetherness was then a bold dream for the leaders of Bahrain, Kuwait, Oman, Qatar, Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates. But they were driven by a unique motivation and a robust drive to achieve the aspirations of their peoples. The latest summit hosted by Bahrain in December was a new indication of the significant strides that the six countries have made over the last three decades towards greater integration to the satisfaction of their people. Since the launch of the Council in the UAE capital Abu Dhabi in 1981, its six members have scored a number of achievements, including the unification of political stances at international forums regarding issues adopted by the GC states, setting up the GCC common market, and treatment of GCC nationals as citizens in each of the states. For three decades, the GCC has consolidated the foundations of success, such as the unification of security systems and laws, education, health, insurance, pension, trade, agriculture, industry, investment, transaction of shares, the legal and justice field, and ownership of properties. In the area of foreign policy, the GCC states took joint positions toward different political issues and dealt with the world as one bloc. The GCC state reiterated the rejections of Iran's occupation of the three UAE islands, Tom Greater, Tom Blesser, and Abu Musa. They expressed their regret that the contacts with Iran regarding a diplomatic solution of the conflict did not yield any fruits. The GCC states stressed that any Iranian acts on the island were null and void and would not change the historical and legal facts that indicate sovereignty of the UAE over the islands. They called in Iran to respond to the UAE efforts to settle the issue either through direct talks or resort to the International Court of Justice. On the Syrian front, the GCC states have called for international concerned efforts to prepare for the smooth transition of power that could seize the bloodshed. They reiterated that the just comprehensive peace in the Middle East would not be achieved unless the full Israeli withdrawal from the Arab territories occupied in 1967 in Palestine and the Golan Heights, as well as setting up a Palestinian state with East Jerusalem as a capital. And hopefully we are now joined with MP Sosan Takawi to comment on this issue. Mrs. Takawi, can you hear us? Yes, it's clear. Thank you very much for joining us. First of all, the question I'd like to put to you is how far has the Council come? Well, uh, in the beginning, uh, I would like to congratulate His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the King of Kingdom of Bahrain, and his brothers, the Majesties and uh, Highnesses, the leaders of the Gulf Cooperation Council, on the occasion of the 32nd anniversary of the establishment of the Cooperation Council for the Arab State of the Gulf. Well, uh, the Arab Gulf states are looking to the uh, anniversary to accelerate the pace of achievements uh, in order to achieve the vision of the leaders and people of the Gulf state uh, to move from the stage of cooperation to the stage of the union. And as you know, uh, the GCC countries succeeded in achievement, uh, achieving great achievements uh, to the citizens of the Gulf but uh, I think uh, there are still a lot to be achieved, which requires, uh, requires acceleration to meet the aspiration uh, of the people of the Gulf state to, to, to continue the hard work toward uh, the greater uh, prosperity and progress for the Gulf state. Um, there are uh, enormous uh, uh, achievements made by the GCC. Well, the biggest success was the, the strength and the cohesion of the uh, GCC system, which was formed in May, as you said, in May 1981, and it is uh, the, the, the secret of the survival and the success of the system in the standard and the achievement uh, since its, uh, uh, the formation period and up to the present day, I think. I've been put a question here. What is the significance of the upcoming Riyadh Consultative Summit and how would this affect the Council's progress? Well, to, to be honest, I'm looking forward to the Consultative uh, Summit in Riyadh, which is 
scheduled soon to discuss uh, the initiative of uh, uh, custodian of the two holy mosques to move from this stage of cooperation to union. I think this meeting should, should stand to the implementation level in the previous Gulf summit decision, particularly the economic uh, project to meet the regional and the external uh, challenges, which require uh, more solidarity and coordination and unity. Mm -hmm. And I would like to draw to your attention uh, that the GCC countries succeeded in uh, strengthening cooperation and coordination in the field of security and military as one of the uh, priorities of the Council. And in order, uh, I think, in order to achieve the formation of the Gulf Army military integration, they should present a strategic move to the Peninsula Shield Force. Um, as you know, uh, it is... Uh, the, the uh, culmination of this, uh, these efforts in Gulf to, to prepare for the transition to the Gulf Union and what it takes to build the uh, Gulf Institute uh, or institutions. Mrs. Takawi, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, we really appreciate it. And uh, all the best with the next uh, consultative summit in Riyadh. And I'm sure there will be many more achievements um, as we've witnessed um, yes, in the past sure years. Too. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.